you guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome to my channel and if it's not your first time welcome back to another video for those of you that don't know me my name is Mimi so on this channel I talk about locks I talk about motivational things and recently I just started my student loan my student loan repayment plan and how much you know I plan on making a payment every month so that's another thing that I've incorporated into my channel because I want you guys to follow along with me in this process but this video is not about that this video is another lock video so I just wanted to come on here and talk about the process um, my process so far with my locks um, things I've loved throughout the journey I have a similar video like this but I'm gonna um, this video is gonna be more detailed I ha I'm incorporating pictures as I'm talking with um, with you guys and just let you know like what the journey has been like and what are things that I was prepared for? What are things that I was shocked when I found out about locks? So um, with that being said, if this is a video that you want to continue watching and learn about, continue to watch. So I started my journey, my lock journey by myself. Um, I'll put a picture here of what my hair looked like. I wasn't even, to be honest with you guys, I didn't even care if it was neat or not. I just woke up one day and I was like, I'm going to start my journey, my lock journey today. I put in the two string twist it wasn't even neat you guys so i put in a two string this was august 2nd last year um so i'm a little i'm a year and two months now um into my journey and it's been fun it's been fun um since then but i've run you guys through the whole journey it's, it has not been easy so just like any other journey in life it has its ups and downs so when i first started my journey um I didn't know what to expect, like totally, right? A lot of things I had to find out throughout, you know, th throughout the process. First mistake that I did when I first started um, my journey, I was retwisting every two weeks because I wanted the polished look. And mind you, I wanted the thick lock look, right? That was the first mistake I made. I wanted thick locks, but then I was retwisting every two weeks. And I did that for maybe like, two three months i was retwisting every two to three weeks and i wasn't seeing any progress with the with the volume of my hair and you know my hair wasn't getting any thicker i know it's too soon maybe two three months between like two the first two three months is too soon for you to even see any type of um change in your locks right because it's too soon but i just was not comfortable with it so i started looking at videos of thick locks women right a lot of women um on instagram a lot of women on youtube that have thick locks i started following their journey um i will put on in i will put on the i'll put on the screen some of the girls that i watched on on um in on <laughs> i'll put on the screen some of the women that i was watching of their thick locks on youtube um that helped me a lot and they talked about their routine what are some of the things that they were doing and I follow these women. I watch tons of videos of them, tons of videos. A lot of them talk about one of the main important thing for thick locks is extending your your retwist, extending your retwist time. So at that time, I was already working um, from home. This was already during the pandemic. And I started working from home during the pandemic. And it's been like that since. So um I, I I was like, oh, so I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> so I started um, extending my retwist from like two to three weeks to four to six weeks. I started extending my retwist. And within that time, I've been doing the same thing I've been doing. I was spraying my hair every day. But at that time, I was just spraying my hair with regular water. Um, I was spraying my hair every day. And then every two to three days, I would um or in my scalp with the same oil that i've been using if you want to know the the product that i use in my hair i have a video um on my channel already I, you got you can check my lock playlist i have all of that already so i started like um i started extending my retwist from four to from two to three weeks to four to six weeks i started um extending my retwist so um of course i'm moisturizing doing my moisturizing routine but at this time, I wasn't comfortable with the length of my hair, y'all. I wasn't comfortable. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel confident within myself. I did some head wraps. 
I did wigs. <laughs> um, I wasn't comfortable. So, but I stuck it through because I work from home. I didn't really go out much. Um, at the time, this was deep in the pandemic. I didn't really go to church. I was watching church online. So I, I just stuck it through. It was just my husband and my kids. I felt bad for my husband though, because he had to see the whole, the, all the stages of my life journey and they weren't pretty, <laughs> but, um, he accepted it. He loved right now. Oh my God. My husband loved my, my hair that day. I was able to, the first day, this was three, four days ago. I was able to put my hair in a ponytail for the first time. This is the first time guys. Let me show you guys. First time I was able to put my hair in a ponytail. So I'm like two, three years ago. This is the second time I'm actually doing it. Um, when I did it, I, he wasn't home. I took a picture and I sent it to him. He was like, oh my God, your hair grew so fast. Being that it's my hair, looking at it every day, I didn't see, the. I didn't, I didn't realize my hair was actually growing. That's another thing too, throughout my process, I didn't realize that my hair was actually growing because my hair was shrinking so bad. I have thick 4C hair, so my hair shrinks a whole lot, a whole lot. The only time my hair doesn't shrink is when I freshly wash it. That's when you can see my actual length of my hair when I just washed it. But after that, a day or two later, when I spray my hair, or after that, my hair go back to like the shrunken stage, and it's like it would have it was having me looking bald headed, okay? And I did not like it. I did not like it at all. But I stuck it through. I stuck up, stuck through the process. Another failure that I had um, during my journey, I started using this wax. Um, this wax. Uh, um lock wax to like twist your hair with i that's another thing too guys i did not do like a diligent research of some of the product to use on your locks i thought you know maybe because it's a it says wax uh lock wax on it it says lock uh locking wax on it i'll get a picture of it and post it what i was using and i was using that to like lock my hair for maybe like a couple of months and you guys i did not realize it was leaving residue on my hair um until one day i was actually watching like lock products um retwist and lock product i was like let me just watch a couple of videos and i came across the the specific one that i was using they were saying that um i i i google a few videos of the same one and some of most of the people that I watch were saying that this product has left, um, has caused product buildup in their locks. And they had pictures that they took. They were saying throughout the the time that they were using this this product, and this is what he has caused to them. And I, I was like really terrified. I was like, oh my God. You guys, I was experiencing a little buildup. It was... It was, it started to like accumulate in my scalp and I was like, oh, I got to stop. So for a while I stopped and I was just doing, um, I was just doing Jamaican black castor oil with water for retwisting. And then I started doing research again to research like the, uh, a better lock product to use. So I came across a couple of videos where they, they recommended this specific aloe vera uh, aloe vera juice um it's aloe vera gel for lock retwisting i'll put a picture of it if i can find it um uh, a lot of women recommended it how good it is for your hair and how it doesn't leave any residue on your hair so i tried it and you guys i loved it so i've been using it every time i retwist um i retwist every two months so i don't really use it much on my hair and sometimes, to be honest with you, sometimes I don't even use it. I just use, um, I just use uh, um, Jamaican black castor oil with water to lock to um, retwist my hair. But for the most part, I use it, so I like it a lot. That's one product that I would actually recommend. Um, to be honest, there's not many products out there I've used because one thing about me, if I like something, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm not the type that like that would like experiment, especially when it comes to my locks, because I know buildup is one of my fear in this journey because I don't want to have to end up cutting my hair because of product buildup. I've seen videos like that. You you guys probably tired of me talking about buildup, but um, it's 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 my biggest fear when it comes to this lock journey. And um, lint, um, 
obviously lint is inevitable at some point you're going to get lint in your hair i've had lint every here and there from like sweaters or things like that that i wear so um what i do is when i wear like i have some sweaters that you know if i leave my hair down i'm gonna get lint in my hair so what i do is i'll probably wear like a bonnet in the house or like scarves silk um sc scarves i have a whole lot of those um i have a video on my channel where i show some of them so if you guys interested in that video i'll put my lock uh playlist down so you guys can check them out using less product not using thick product in my hair not using i talk about how i don't use uh hair butter hair creams um conditioners in my hair the only thing i use in my hair is water aloe vera juice in a bottle i spray it and i spray my hair with that every morning and then um i use i have a mixture of oils that i use um that i use every two to three days in my hair that's all i do i do not do any other thing i do not use any other product in my hair because i am afraid of product buildup so that's one area that i feel like i did a good job at because that's what I was really focusing on, on how to really take care of your locks. Um, how to like take care of your locks, how to avoid lint, how to avoid build product buildup. But I didn't really focus on what type of product are good for your hair. So that's where my mistake came from. So don't be like me, okay? And then throughout the, uh, that's one lesson I had to learn throughout my journey. And another thing is, as time went by, I started like styling my hair a little bit. I started doing like two little ponytails, half up, half down. I didn't do much of those. I was probably doing it like Sundays or I was probably doing it when I'm going to go pick up my son from school. I did that probably like once or twice a week. Not much at all because I was very conscious of not manipulating my hair as much if I wanted thick locks. And, you know, that's my goal, thick locks. So I was very conscious of that. So I didn't do much hairstyle at all. Like, you know how women have a lot of lock women they have like videos on their channel like uh four or five hairstyles to do with your locks i don't have those videos because i didn't do much hair um i didn't do much style into my hair at all at all maybe as my hair get older maybe when i'm like two three years old in the lock journey and my hair i have a little more length maybe i could do a little more with my hair but even with that i'm going to be very cautious of how many times i style my hair or how many times i manipulate my hair i'll probably do it like once every month or once every two to three weeks but i would not like i don't want to manipulate my hair as much i really don't because i like the healthy thick lock look and less is more when it comes to having thick locks yeah that pretty much in a nutshell has been my journey so far and I'm one year in now. Now I can say I'm pretty confident with the length um, of my hair. I'm pretty confident with, um, my hair is not 100% locked, but I'll say at least 60, 70% locked. So I'm pretty confident with that. I'm not really so concerned of length. I've said this many times. I'm more concerned with how fast my hair is locking so they can actually look like locks locks so i know like some parts of my hair i still have like the re the um two strength twist pattern like the ends of my hair if you look really closely yeah if you look really closely you probably see it yeah if you look really closely you probably see it but um for the most part my hair is like 60 70 percent locked but um yeah I've, I've i've i'm loving the journey so far i can't wait to see what year two has for me i'll probably do an update when i'm 18 months um when my locks are 18 months but i'm not gonna do every month like some people do i started doing that when i was two three four, i think when i was month one month two month three month i think i stopped because I didn't, I personally wasn't seeing any, I wasn't seeing much growth in my hair or much progress. So I stopped doing those like monthly update. So um, I probably will not do any one until maybe when I'm like, my locks are 18 months, I'll probably do one or I'll probably do the next hair update I do or the next video that I do like this talking about my locks. The, the journey will probably when my, when I'm like two years locked but um yeah that's all that's all i have to say um i don't yeah 
that's all I have to say so far. If this is a video that you like, or if you guys have any questions for me about my life journey, you can put them down in the comment section and I will respond to them. And um, if this, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and join the, the, the family by subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.